hello folks and welcome to the channel so today's video starts a series of um, flutter and firebase and i'll be covering everything you have to know from beginner concepts to advanced one and in today's video we'll be looking at how to set up our environment for easy integration with firebase and we'll be doing that by setting up the firebase cli so let's get right into it and look at how to do that Okay, so the first step to get Firebase installed on our machine um, is to come to the Firebase docs and then look for the CLI section or you can just paste this command into any terminal you have. So whether your CMD terminal or your VS Code terminal or if you're on Linux, your bash terminal. So the first command is npm install dash g Firebase tools. And this will install the firebase tools globally on your machine but you will need to have um, node.js installed on your machine before you can run this command so if you don't have node.js installed you just have to google node.js download or just node.js and then download um, the version for your machine right so whether 18 or 19 any of them will download or will work then after downloading and installing node.js you should be able to run this command i've already installed the firebase tools but i'll still run the command um, for demonstration purpose so i'm going to open my terminal and then zoom in a bit then paste this command npm install dash g firebase tools right. so after some time this should be installed globally on my machine good so this um, command has finished executing and then the next thing is to log in into firebase right so the requirement is to just have a google account um, all you need for firebase is to have a google account so in your terminal type um, firebase login right and if you've not already logged in um, you should it should open the browser window for you to log in i've already logged in so unless i log out before i can demonstrate that so as you can see already logged in as this um, gmail here so if i run firebase logout then i run firebase login again so then just tap yes this should open a browser um google sign in. allow me to sign into firebase cli so you just have to choose the account you want i'm going to choose um this second one here and then allow um, the firebase cli to access everything and then the login is successful so you can close the browser and now success login as just um, the previous gmail right now the next thing is to install the flutter fire cli that will allow us to connect firebase to flutter easily right so with that one you need to have that and um, flutter on your machine which i suppose you already have and then you have to run um, the command to install um, flutter fire so the command is that pub global activates flutter fire underscore cli so i'll leave this um commands in the description so you can easily copy and paste them right so after writing this in your terminal you can hit enter and i've already installed um this already so it didn't take long for it to um finish installing but if you've not installed it before it should take some minutes or seconds depending on your internet connection right now that's all it takes to set up firebase and flutter so let's try connecting um of a firebase project to a flutter project right so you see how easy it is to use the flutter fire cli now 
I'll close the terminal and then I'm going to open VS Code then create a new Firebase project right, so this is an old project I was working on so I'm going to create a new project And I'm going to choose um, the location so just selecting the folder and then um, let me just give it a name so flutter CLI or um, firebase CLI looks okay So I now have um, my project set up and in order to connect um, a Firebase project to this Flutter project, you just have to go to the terminal of this project. So if I open the terminal, it's going to point to this project, the root of this project and then type Flutter Fire. So if I zoom in a bit. flutter fire configure and this is the command we use to set up a new project right so flutter fire configure and that will fetch all your available firebase projects right if you don't have any project on firebase yet so i have one project on firebase if you don't have any project on firebase or you want to create a new project you can just um, choose the create a new project option or use an existing project on firebase right so i'm going to create a new project and then you have to give it a name um one problem with creating the project from the terminal is that the project might already have um a conflicting name right but if you create it using the browser you're already going to you're already going to um, figure that out and add some random numbers to the project name so i don't i'm just coming to come up with a project um, ID or name that I think may be um, unique right so let's say my underscore awesome underscore one two three four five six seven eight right I think this will be um, a cool project name and then I hit enter um, so I have an, a warning over here only numeric um, okay so let's try again my cool one two three four five six seven eight nine something like this and then you see creating new firebase projects right now after some seconds this project should be done creating so let's wait for some few seconds yes now it will ask you which platform you want to configure um this firebase to so i mean the flutter so we have android is mac os and web and for now i'm just um, setting this up for android if you just want to add um support for ios you just um use your arrow keys you select the platform and then you hit space bar on your keyboard to take it right that's adding it to the um, platform you want to configure for i'm only going to set up for android so i'll hit enter so it access um if you want to update some changes to build plugins i mean a gradle file just to go yes and then that's all so this is all it takes to set up um firebase for a flutter project and then configure it right so when we come to our file 
realize we now have a new file firebase options that's trying to import a package firebase core right so we can go to our pubspec.yaml file and add this package so under our dependencies anywhere under our dependencies we can add a firebase core package and then save our pubspec.yaml file and after flutter pub gets us done running this should fix um the error we have right now you can see the error is gone and now we have um if you come to android folder we have our firebase um stuffs here so firebase google services the json we have everything set up you don't have to manually go and create the project and come and set it up alternatively to you could have just created the project on firebase then use the fi um, flutter fire configure command to connect that existing project to this um current flutter project right so we already have a firebase project maybe it's a web project that you want to add an android app to it you can just run the flutter fire configure command and that will connect um this flutter project or whatever flutter project you are working on to the existing firebase project you have right so this is how you set up a firebase project and if everything worked successfully then it means you have firebase installed globally on your machine and you can easily um, set it up with any flutter project right so um there's the setup um, section of this series and in the next part i'll be looking at how we can create read update to so all the crowd operations using firebase right yeah so that's it for now and i'll see you in the next one if you like this content like subscribe if you have any questions let me have them in the comments down below